Captain, why are you letting the doctors in? The medics can only enter once we know it's safe. Well, it is safe! And secure! You know, you've got the girl down and the gun! They have the information, there may be more than one suspect. We should search everyone inside. Well, he's been shot in the head! He's dying in there! Why can't you just let the doctors in? Keep going! I'll play! Look what everyone's right! Who's it? This chap. They, they, everything's going to be fine, okay? They're going to fix him up and make it better. They're taking don't tell him that, Carol. Don't lie to him. I'm not. He's strong. He's going to make it. He's got everything to live for. So, Bradley. <laughs> it's all right. Don't It's all right. No, he's still in surgery, which is a good sign. How's your dad? He's still the same. We got him to eat something earlier, but he just threw it back up again. Are you coming back soon? Because we don't like being in charge. I'm really proud of you both. You're both being really brave. OK, well, if you need anything, just call me, OK? Alive, stable and on intensive care at the moment. So it was a success, yeah? It's a little early to say, I'm afraid. We've removed as much of the bullet and damaged tissue as we're able to, but there is still a small fragment of shrapnel trapped within the skull membrane, which unfortunately will have to stay there. That means the risk of swelling or infection will be greater, so we'll be keeping him anaesthetised and on a ventilator for at least 48 hours. I hope he's going to be OK. We won't know the extent of any damage until the patient regains consciousness. You mean brain damage? It's too early to make any diagnosis. Well, no more in a few days now. If you'll excuse me. That really is all I can tell you. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thanks. So what they say, what? The chap might end up like some sort of vegetable or no, something. No, no, he's not saying that. That's exactly what he meant. You up for that then, are you? Giving him sponge baths, changing his bags, feeding him like a baby. What? You know, looking after him 24-7. I mean, you owe him that much, surely. But it's not Billy's fault, is it? It's Kylie's. Yeah, and the, and the police. You know, if they'd just let the medics in sooner, he could have got treatment. Don't you dare try and pretend this has got nothing to do with you. And don't you help him neither. Because that's what he's been doing all his life, passing the buck. Blaming me and everyone else but himself for the trouble that he gets in. Now, you're the one who joined the gang. You're the one who brought Kylie here. I didn't bring Kylie. She followed me. You're the one who thinks getting a job is beneath him because he'd rather go out smoking drugs or robbing pubs and shops. I was trying to change. This is why she did this, because I was trying to stop all that. She was trying to shoot me. And she got Jack instead. Now, you've wasted your life and you've wasted his too! Didn't ask him to push me out of the way. You know, I wish he didn't take that bullet. I wish he was me instead. So do I! <laughs>